Okay, so before I wrap up this particular lesson, I will try to answer one more confusion that you might have in your mind right now. So you must have this question in your mind that Avilash, I understand this is my front controller. Here I am actually configuring my front controller and this particular servlet name, whatever servlet name that I have given, the framework will actually look for a file in the webinf folder called that hyphen front controller hyphen it will append hyphen servlet.xml and it will look for that particular file over here. So is it really mandatory to always have the same name as the dispatcher servlet right over here in that particular file as well? Now you might have this question. So what if I'm going to change this particular thing? What if I'm going to rename this particular file to controller dash dispatcher here and then dash servlet.xml? If I'll do something like this, I have changed this particular file name. I'll click on OK. So right now you can see this particular file here, right? Dad hyphen front controller hyphen dispatcher hyphen servlet.xml. This particular file, this particular name doesn't match with this particular name, correct? So right now, obviously, if I'm going to stop my server, if I'm going to deploy my project again in the web browser, now what is going to happen, right? Run as, run on server. I'll do next, I'll do finish. Now let's try to see what is going to happen here. Obviously, we'll be getting a file not found exception. Let me go to console, okay. Now let me go to the root and you see IO exception while passing XML document. The framework is basically looking for a particular file called dad hyphen front controller hyphen servlet.xml but it is not finding it in the webinf directory because I have changed the file name. So if I have a different file name or if I have a different spring configuration file name, then how I can actually configure it, okay? Now see how actually I'm going to let my uh, dispatcher servlet know that please do not use your uh, default uh, file search. Rather, you can search for this particular file so so what i can do here okay just let me maximize it okay here let me do a let me give a line break and here i can give a init param okay and inside the init param i can give two things one is param name okay and another thing is param value okay so what is my param name for the param name you have to write this configuration context okay and for the param value, you have to copy paste your file name here and you have to let Spring know where actually this particular file is present. So this particular file is present inside the web inf directory. So I can say web inf slash dat dash front controller dash dispatcher dash servlet.xml. Okay, you can see this is particularly my file name. Okay, the same file name. I have copy pasted here and I just told the dispatcher servlet it is there inside this particular directory or you can keep this particular file right now anywhere and you can keep the right path over here okay now let me do command s to save it okay then now let me rerun my project again and let's see what is going to happen okay so right now let me do a right click let me go to run as and run on server. Let me do next and let me do a finish. Let me check out whether uh, everything working good or I'm actually getting an exception. So, okay, I, I'm still getting an exception. What it is saying, let's try to understand it. Okay, so it is still not able to parse my XML file and it is still looking for the dat dash front controller dash servlet.xml. Why? And it is still saying file not found okay then i must have done something wrong during the configuration so let me check this out here okay probably i think i have given a wrong param name so let me give con what i've given previously i've given 
configuration context maybe it is context configuration configuration okay and i have missed a slash here slash webinf slash dad front controller uh, okay let me let me do one thing let me see let me give it a simple name right now so let me give bins.xml okay and let me give here in my web.xml file uh, here let me change it to inside the web inf you search for bins.xml file let me save it and let me rerun it in my server so i have just changed the param name to context configuration right now and i have changed the file name to bins.xml here bins.xml and i have given the same name over here as well okay so allow me to run it right now and let's check uh, what is actually happening so let me stop the server so stop right now let me uh, run it again run on server next finish let's check out this time what is going to happen hopefully no error okay still we're getting an error in my console so let's see what is happening right now so it is still trying to looking for the file called dat front controller dash servlet xml well where i am actually missing what mistake that i am doing so probably i am missing something here so let me change it context config location let me do control save again so my server is stopped right now let me rerun my project let me redeploy it and let's try to see right now whether our exception is gone or not okay so right now congratulations <laughs> this is running fine right so if you see here there is no exception here so my file is getting loaded properly okay so my bins.xml file is loaded so now let's try hitting some url let's say home.com slash sugar well it's working fine okay then my dispatcher servlet then my dispatcher servlet here is reading this particular file right now bins.xml okay that's what I told my dispatcher servlet to uh, you know load by by putting a init param over here and I have given the param name with this particular configuration name context config location and I have given the exact file name and from which folder or which directory I wanted to load this particular file now bins.xml is there inside the web INF folder so I've given that location right now my dispatcher servlet is loading this particular file and doing whatever it needs to do and if I'm going to my web browser right now and if I'm hitting anything any URL uh, then it is working fine okay for makeup we have changed it to slash sys slash makeup enter and there you go cool I think right now everything working good and hopefully I'm able to answer your question I'll see you in the next video then